How many girls want to marry a guy without a car or a house? The question made me angry and the question is extremely silly. I refused to fall into the arranged marriage trap because it made me feel like forcing myself into something that should naturally happen, except that it never happened. And when I lost all hopes, I still didn't agree to an arranged marriage, I met him. He wasn't someone my type, but I learned to love him, kept telling myself he was the O.N.E. I was madly in love, and so was he. We didn't hang out a lot, but we had the connect, the chemistry. The sex was great. It was terrific in fact. I didn't bother to ask about his financial status, it wasn't necessary to me, but he told everything about himself voluntarily. He was earning a lot lesser than me, he didn't like his job, he was aspiring to be a model and an actor possibly, he didn't own a house, or a car, heck he didn't even own a bike or a bicycle. He didn't have any assets, to top it all, all he had was debts, in locks, while I wasn't rich, I had a house and a car well before I met him. He was too proud to take my help, extremely proud that we had arguments over me paying his bills. I was very careful not to gift him anything expensive so he wouldn't feel obligated to do the same to me but boy when he gifted, his gifts were so expensive, that again we would have arguments over me accepting his gifts because I wanted him to not acquire any more debts, he was buying them on credit cards. He left me for another girl, which is a different story altogether, but my point is that girls do not always go after a materialistic life. I loved him truly. I wanted to be at his side when he struggled, I wanted to help him every way possible because I loved him. I don't ever think I can fall for a house or a car, I fall for the person that someone is, how human he is, how respectful and honest, how passionate he is, I fall for his gaps which fill mine. I'm still banking on love, houses and cars can wait until then, 